This is a video about navigating your InDesign document. We won't be creating any kind of interactivity, such as links or buttons. Also, this document contains sections and page numbers. I have a whole video on this if you'd like to know how to create those. So what do I mean by that? Well, notice just here, I'm starting on page I. So this is in Roman numerals. And actually my first five pages are in Roman numerals. And then page one here is technically kicking in on page six. Okay guys, so let's do some navigating. So already we've seen one of the easiest ways is to just grab your scroll bar just here and go for a bit of a scroll. Of course, with a massive document like this, this might take you a while. So let's see if we can't find some smarter ways to do this. Now you do have the pages panel with all of the thumbnails just here. You can go through this for a bit of a scroll as well. This may be a little bit faster just because of the thumbnails. And once you've found a page you need, just double click on it to go to it like so. Now there's a whole navigation section just down here in the lower left. I think I was using InDesign for a few years before I even noticed this. I've got a page number just down here. If I click on the arrow next to that, there's all of our pages. Click the page you want and it jumps straight to it. Now I'd like to introduce you to a feature under the layout menu called Go to Page. I'll click on it, brings up a small dialog box. I can click on this drop down, choose the page I like, and then choose OK. Okay, nothing special so far, so let's, uh, let's step this up. Now layout, go to page. Note that this thing has a keyboard shortcut, command or control J. So, command or control J jumps me in here. I don't actually have to use this drop down. I can just quickly type in the number that I want. So I could, for example, type in five, and then instead of pressing OK, just press Enter or Return. So let's repeat that, and I'll show you how fast we can do this. Let's say I wish to get to page 21. Command and Control J, 21, Enter or Return, and bang, we are there. Now the Go To Page feature has a little quirk that I would like to explore just now. So Command and Control J, and let's say I type in 10, Enter or Return, no big surprises here, we're seeing page 10 just here. But remember, of course, my first five pages are in Roman numerals. Page one kicks in on page six, right? So yes, I'm looking at page 10 here, but actually this is the 15th page of the document. Let's say for whatever reason, I wish to not go to page 10, but go to the 10th page of the document. Well, command and control J, we don't type in 10, we type in plus 10. Enter or return, and check this out, it's taken me to page five, which we know is actually the 10th page of our document. Command and control J plus six will take me to page one, because of course those first five pages are in Roman numerals. So I'm gonna wrap things up just there, guys. I hope that gives you some cool tips on how you can navigate around your InDesign document during the design process. Catch you later.